What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime, bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs. And today, I am going to build this kit. The RGM-79S GM Spartan. 1-100 scale, high grade. This is from uh, something that I've never heard of before. When I was looking up, looking up this mobile suit, it was referring to something called, um, and I gotta dig it up again, uh, Fuji, no, I said not Fuji, give me a minute, let me just have a hair go. This is based on something called Fukuchi Mobile Suit, Mobile Suit Station, and when I looked it up, it was basically a, uh, it was from a, I guess a magazine or, uh, yeah, from the Bandai's Model Journal um, that came out in 1989, and it was it was designed by Hitoshi Fukuchi, Fukuchi um, who was the mechanical designer of many, uh, you know, of most of the designs are, ver are you know, ba basically variants of the of mobile suits from the One Year War. And I guess he's credited for a few other mobile suits, which I don't know. But, regardless of the case, this came out from P. Bandai. And I was like, whoa, this is, this is different. i never seen this before. I know a few friends of mine have uh, shown me uh, images of this. And I think, if I'm not mistaken... This kit is act. This mo uh, mobile suit is actually in battle operations too. I haven't played it in a long time, so I can't confirm or deny it. But somebody's probably gonna tell me whether or not it's in the game. But yeah, this is a very very neat looking uh, mobile suit. It's actually from the GM Command variant, which uh, has made um you know which I built the Master Grade uh, before. Not the. This is technically um. If I'm not mistaken, I guess this kit is from the GM Sniper Custom or from the not see, sorry, not GM Sniper Custom, GM Sniper 2 or the uh, GM Command model kit, which I don't think I ever made the high grade version of it. So this is technically my first time building a high grade version of that kit. Um, but according to the documentation that I'm reading here. It is based off like a, a jungle. Um, it's it was designed for jungle combat, and I was like, okay, th this is new, new, new idea, that a new kit that we are getting as a high grade. It's a shame that we can't get it as a normal grade, but uh, it did, did come out on P Bandai site. I did pick it up, and I think you know, hopefully, you guys got your hands on it as well because. Uh, it looks very nice, and I seen this at uh, Mosquito Con recently. Uh, somebody did their build. I wanted to build this kit, but I didn't get it in time for me to work on it because I was in the middle of doing other kits um, at the same time. Um, but yeah, this is really neat, and I, I wanted to build this for quite some time. And I think you know what? I think I, I think I'm ready to to work on it and see what I, what I can do with it. You know, my ideas. Now, just so you know, I got two of these. One is going to be um, a prize for the uh, custom diorama contest that I'm holding right now. Uh, and of course, for those of you who are not aware of, the contest is going to continue till May 7th. Uh, it was supposed to end at May, uh, April 7th, but we extended up to May 7th. So, I hope you guys are almost done with your build so I can see. And then, you know announce the winners but that's for a later date but yeah now I'm gonna build this guy and paint it because I really like the look of this This actually reminds me of of course uh, Master Chief from Halo you know very distinctive look to it all right let's open this up so we have our joints the joint plates I see part portion of the bottom part of the of the, uh, of the feet 
connectors right there. I see an open hand. I see some hands here. We got some stickers. Um, very limited in detail and decaling. So obviously you have regular stickers and you have the um, Federation markings. But I do believe I have some Federation markings for this. Next set of joints. Same parts as before. And I see the bicep armor and then the thigh armor. We have a very, very nice dark green color tone. Very nice, like the shoulder parts. Yeah, I just realized looking at the actual shoulder there, it's a weird um, plate like a like a hinge plate hanging from there. That actually is pretty neat. We have some stickers here. Um, red dot, red connect, uh, red dot here for the I guess the sensor on something. This has to be for the um, the forehead or maybe this. That's for the beef. You know why would you want to put yellow on something that green? It's going to be seen from far away. The light parts very reminiscent to the GM Sniper 2 or the GM Command. And the A plate. I think that has to be the backpack. That's parts of the, of the chest. Here are the parts of the forehead, uh, the mono, um, you know, the face plate. Um, here's the head part as well. Um, polycaps, beam saber effect parts. Oh, and one red part. That's for the chest piece. We have the rest of the um, green parts. We have the leg, the foot. Waist unit, arm parts, and then more the joints and the the, the weird gun. It's a very very unusual assault rifle type mini gun type thing. I like mini guns, of course, and who doesn't like mini guns? And what I liked about it was this is a three barreled uh, mini gun type weaponry. Um, Four, five, six barrels doesn't matter. Obviously, two doesn't mean a mini, a mini gun, but still, um, I kind of like it. But it's weird how its construction looks. I wonder if it's in battle operations too. I want to see it in action. Let, let me let me let's put the manual for a second. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen parts that are not required for this build. A bunch of other P um, polycap parts that we don't need as well, too. Start with the assembly of the torso. Good, uh, good setup here. Wait, portion of the waist of the torso, the head. That's not the waist, more like the abs. The head, head unit right there. Then we have the assembly of the right arm with the unique. Um, setup of the rocket launcher there and then the, the left arm with the shoulder parts with the um, shoulder plate on the on the left which is kind of neat and then we go from the feet and then the legs very simple design feature then the waist unit, again, simple. Final assembly. And then we have the backpack. 
And then we have the weaponry. We have a, a combat knife. Very neat. Kind of. I wonder if this is the same combat knife that was used in um, in Unicorn on the uh, one of the Ecos J guns. And then we have the uh, the beam. It has to be a submachine gun. But what kind? What's it called? Uh, I should have checked with the. Um, doesn't give you the name though, unfortunately. But it's interesting how this, how it has this weird clip box that is attachable, and then how you connect it with the with the arm pieces. And then over here, um, the storage of the, the of the uh, rounds of the clips goes in the back skirt. Oh, and you have the ability to store your beam rifle, um, sorry, uh, saber hilts on either the shoulder or the forearm, which actually would be a neat idea to put the beam rifle, beam sabers on the shoulder and then the rocket launcher on the forearm and act as a, you know, a way of firing the weaponry from the arm instead of the shoulder. That's actually kind of neat. Um, I don't know what that is. It's like some sort of communications device that comes out. Interesting. Now the color that you use, the color guide, the body is to be up by two points. You have the regular green part and then the dark green parts. Followed by a portion of the red for the chest. Uh, gray part could be, you know, the joints. Then the sensor is the yellow. There's another sensor part that's red and blue. Nice. Wow, that's going to be interesting how to do this. I'm going to make some changes here. I'm not going to actually paint it. Uh, I mean, some parts, some colors will be replaced with something, but I'm going to do this. So, the charcoal parts and the gun, I'll probably use uh, Mr. Metallic uh, MS Gray. I have enough here. Now, for the green, this is the one thing that I'm been thinking about. So I have a couple of greens here. I have dark green, 230. But I also have deep green. Now, I did a test and it turns out that both of these are nearly identical. Nearly. So I don't know if I should be using this one or this one. You can't tell with this one because this the this little white thing come is showing here. Unlike this, where you can actually see the, the true color. I think what I'm about to do is get some spoons and spray it with the spoons and see, you know, both of these and see what what would what it would look like. And I was actually thinking about that until I forgot there's somebody on Instagram that actually does that. I want to take a moment to give out a shout out to T underscore Hobbycraft. This is a guy on Instagram who actually takes the colors from, from the Mr. Hobby line. And what he does is he'll paint four spoons. So spoon one will be white primer. Spoon two will be gray primer. Spoon three will be black primer. And then spoon four would be mahogany. And then he will paint the color over it and then you see the tone. I think I found the color. Let me see. Uh, that's 370, 22. Uh, you know what? 320. So 320, and I don't think this color. But let's see. Let's see if we could find 320 here. Blue, blue. No, not that. Purple. 320. Here we go. So here's 320. And as you can see, these were the tones of colors you use. Uh, 1500 white, 1200 surface or gray, 1000 uh, mahogany, and 1500 black. So obviously it's mahogany before black. And this is what the spoons look like without the color. And this is what it looks like with the color. Kind of nearly identical. So if you could see there's a lighter tone there. So black would probably be a good idea to use 320 on it. 
he has not posted anything from the other line from from the um, Mr. Gundam colors, but I wonder if this is identical to this. Yeah, I, I would have to go through this entire library and find. But right now, he, he just oh wait wait maybe this is it. Let me see. Deep green. And this is deep green. Oh, here we go. I found it. Look at that. Oh, wow. You know what? That deep green is deep. Very, very deep. I think I'm going to use this. Sorry, 320. However, 320 can probably be used to, to break up the color tone. Maybe do, try to do a two-tone color. Been thinking about that, but I've been also thinking about doing a um, pre-shading. We'll figure that out soon, because I've been in the mood to do some pre-shading and weathering for quite some time, and I haven't done it. Other colors we'll get to as well. I may uh, do a mixture of white somewhere around there, and then we have the blue and the red. So, what do you guys think of that? Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this build. Let's begin building high-grade GM. Spartan.